Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put out an announcement. I got both of you guys on there because you're both the uh, last two that chimed in. Um, and again, you know, for the News Ninja, I appreciate you putting out the word. Obviously, some of your fans are here, man. You know, it takes a lot to kind of break down egos and, uh, you know, be willing to work together with other people uh, like a lot of others have done here. You know, some people have kind of poo-pooed us <clears throat> just because we're not a syndicated uh, thing. You know, we're, we're not 100% confirmable, but we've got real people here, man, and we're letting real people chime in, you know, from all kinds of backgrounds. And, uh, you know, I'm proud to have you and, you know, some of your fans and, and uh, other associates on the line right now. Uh, as of right now, we're floating around uh, just over 40 callers. I'm going to go ahead and open the doors again and uh, let anybody else who wants to chime in who might have just came on board, who's been sitting around for a while, if you want to press uh, star six, uh, you can chime in and get in queue, and uh, you can ask anybody any question or put any input. You know, let us know where you're from. Let us know where you're at. Um, you know, we're trying to keep somewhat track of uh, who's chiming in. <coughs> we're missing some eastern states. Uh, we've got a lot of western states, some centrals, but uh, we're, we're trying to, you know, where the Carolina is at right now, you know, where, uh, you know, Idaho, where are you at? You know, a couple other groups. So uh, if you want to chime in, that's great, especially if you're uh, anywhere near ground zero, especially if you're a local. I need you to press star six, and uh, I'm going to be watching for you, especially on those area codes. Um, I just had two more people chime in, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the doors. Uh, let's see here, 716 area code. You're in the queue. Yes, Brian? Yeah, go ahead, sir. Yes, uh, this is Dan Devlin. I'm a vice president of Oath Keepers in New York State. Uh, you had a woman on that expressed interest in donating. In fact, I think she donated, and she was wondering whether that was you know, valid to donate through Oath Keepers. Uh, just for information, uh, you can go to oathkeepers.org. Stuart Rhodes, who is the current president and founder of Oath Keepers has asked for donation to support the efforts of the Bundy Ranch situation. So you can go there, and as you go through the process, you can indicate that you want those funds to go to support the Bundy Ranch uh, effort. Now, let me ask you, sir, uh, you've been a part of Oath Keepers for how long now? I'm sorry? How, how long have I personally been involved with Oath Keepers? Yes. Yeah. Yes, correct. Uh, probably two years. And uh, you, you sound like a seasoned veteran, sir. Are you, are, are you also a veteran? or? Right. You know, I'm one of the individuals that has both law enforcement and military experience. <clears throat> you know, um, there have been kind of some conjecture and some negative feedback regarding uh, Oath Keepers over the course of time. You know, I try not to listen to that, and I can only kind of go by what the group's actually doing. Right. You know, much like uh, you know, meeting a new friend. Based on what somebody else said, I can't hate on somebody, but uh, you know, I can certainly shake hands with that person and see how they treat me, and only go from there. You know, right. um, based on where uh, Stewart said, I've been in contact with uh, Richard Mack and his wife over the course of the last few years from uh, you know past radio shows that I was doing, and uh, I did some public access, and uh, you know, I've definitely had him on uh, when I was Patriot TV. Sure. But, uh, at this point, I'm kind of a little frustrated with the feedback coming about Stuart Rhodes. Uh, you know, I, I, half of me wants to say, wow, you know, this is a real good stand-up guy. He's doing the right thing. But, I mean, are you familiar with some of the, uh, you know, negative uh, underground media attention that's been pointed towards him and his uh, affiliation with some, uh, uh, you know, I don't want to put out any conjecture, just his affiliation with other groups that might not uh, have the best interest of the people in mind? Uh Actually, I don't know specifically what you're referring to, but if you want to bring it up, we could certainly talk about it. I, I hate to point fingers, man, and, and I'm not saying, you know, that whether that's true or not. I just thought maybe you might have some feedback. You might have heard, you know, the rumor mill spreading around bad news about Stewie, which I'm not trying to push out. You know, I, I want to believe with everything I've got that these are Oath Keepers that are trying to do the right thing. But, uh, you know, there's infiltrators everywhere, man, and I'm, I'm not going to uh, give anybody, you know, full 100% uh, my trust, especially if I haven't been able to look them in the eye and shake their hands. And, uh, you know, with all the conjecture going on, I just had to see if you had any feedback uh, as far as those rumors go. And, uh, you know, you are willing to help, you know, squash anything that's been in my head. And I'm sure there's other people listening that, you know, have probably heard some things about Stewie that, uh, 
it would be nice to have this weighted or confirmed, you know, but uh, I'm just going to leave that as an open door. Uh, we've yeah. got a couple other people on the call. Is there anything else you wanted uh, to yeah, appeal without, to you, sir? Without having specifics, it's hard to uh, address it because, as you know, uh, as you grow in popularity, there are tons of people who will, you know, put out all kinds of information. So uh, not having any specifics, I'll leave that go, but I will mention that, uh you know, oath keepers are some of the most honorable people, and this doesn't mean everyone in the organization because all organizations have people who are so-called on the fringe, and people often speak without really thinking about the, what they're saying, and uh, obviously that can be bad for any organization, but their hearts are in the right place. Uh, they're dedicated individuals, for the most part, uh, who are trying to do the right thing. I, yeah, I, I agree on that 100%, man. I, I am not a uh, paid member, but I've been kind of following the uh, Oath Keepers group. I'm in contact with uh, a few of the surrounding states myself, so you know, I'm glad to meet you officially and for, to have you chime in. By no means did I mean to uh, you know, put any negative spin on anything regarding the Oath Keepers. I totally appreciate what, uh, you know, uh, what they're trying to get out as far as getting you know, law enforcement, active duties, veterans, et cetera, you know, to stand right. together to support their oath. But, you know, there's... I, there's just been rumors, man, and, uh, you know, when you, when you hear about infiltration and other key groups that are really making good moves out there, um, you know, you just got to kind of try to keep your eyes and ears open and, you know, do the best you can, you know, based on, you know, experience, man. And uh, I don't have direct experience. I don't have the opportunity to shake his hand. You may have. And, uh, you know, if there's anything you wanted to, you know, say about that, I, I just... Well, we, we, we speak periodically uh, simply because of the distance involved. Uh, but individual groups in various states um, are trying to do the best they can. Uh, as far as I know, at this point, uh, he's been a substantial leader. Uh, I think his heart is in the right place. Uh, oftentimes, you may be in uh, proximity to people who you don't even agree with, and some people take that as an endorsement of what other people are doing when it's not really you know, that uh, it, it, kind of arrangement. Exactly well. You're right, sir, and that's exactly why I was very treading lightly on that subject. Uh, you know, if anything more of me was hoping you'd probably, you know, quash any uh, rumors that were going on about him. But, you know, <laughs> okay. I, uh, it would depend on what the rumor is, and I, I don't think you want to bring it up. So um, I would say that if time permits, uh, I doubt that Stewart would have any problem in getting in on this call. And, if again, if you have a specific situation that you're talking about, then it could be addressed. But uh, if you just want people to go through uh, any allegations that anyone's ever had, you know, it's uh, To be honest, uh, Stuart, Stuart has recently contacted me directly uh, regarding a, a different venture. Um, he'd, he'd probably be a little bit amazed that if uh, he got on the call that he was talking to the same guy that he was talking about uh, another issue with not too long ago. Um, on the phone, I, but if, if you could get him on the phone uh, after 8 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, later in approximately 12 hours, uh, th that'd be great. Um, we'll see if we can I, do I, that. I, yeah, if you can make something like that happen, um, I, I want nothing more than him for to be able to speak for himself. You know, I, I'm that kind of guy. A lot of people talk behind people's back, and I'm seriously sure. trying to, you know, tread, tread this water lightly. Uh, right. I'm the kind of guy that wants to go to the source. Um, you know, without spreading any rumors. So, yeah, I've got a couple of questions for them that I'm sure, you know, other people would like to have answered as well if they're, uh, you know, I try not to entertain rumor mills, man, and I, I give everybody face value the best I can, and that's all I can do right now, but I definitely right, have a couple I, of questions. I think you're trying to focus, if I, you know, understand correctly, you're really trying to focus on the Bundy situation now. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Again, I, right. you know, that, that's and, another story uh, tied to what we're trying to do here. You know he's a, he's a he's a leader. You know, and there, there's a lot of really good people um, that I've met. You know, along that path in, in that uh, in that you know uh, aspect or group or realm or you know whatever, however you want to categorize what the oath keepers do. You know, um, you, you've got a variety of three percenters all the way back up to uh, you know active duty and back down to just patriots that are watching that. And uh, you know, a lot of people that are being led in you know by what the oath keepers movement is all about. If, you know, if there's conjecture there, I'd like him to go ahead and, you know, squash that uh, during the remainder of these phone calls because he's obviously an integral part of the uh, peacekeeping mission that we're trying to, uh, 
to move forward with. So I'm I'm going to probably not really lean towards those rumors because uh, if he wants to address anything, that's great. But uh, I would keep it more towards, hey, what are you doing to get the sheriffs on board, man? What are you doing to get these active duty guys on the same page? What are you doing to get those guys to put pressure on these uh, politicians right now? And, I would uh, say that would be a good approach. Yeah, and, and who the hell are these guys that are coming in with the last name Johnson and you're apparently um, most likely don't even speak English and you're taking illegal orders? Why are you here in our country right now? Why are you armed? And, uh, you know, why are you taking this man's land? Who, who do you answer to and who does he answer to and who does he answer to? And uh, thus far the uh, fingers are kind of pointing militarily and outside of this nation. They're, they're getting orders. You know, I don't want to play with conjecture and, you know, uh, hearsay and conspiracy theories, but, you know, it sounds like a, a lot of people with a lot of money are trying to get their hands on uh, American oil pipelines, uh, American fresh water, and American uh, precious metals and, and ores and things of that nature. I see. Well, I certainly am aware of a lot of the things that you're speaking about. Um, we try to stay focused on uh, our current serving uh, law enforcement and military people, and of course our objective is to have them honor their oath to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And I don't have to tell you about our domestic enemies that we have out there. Um, you know, we we want a nation of honorable people uh, I, who will do what they promise to do, and that's our uh, main I, focus. I would like to throw this up in the air, man, just in case there is any law enforcement and things of that nature and more uh, oath-keeping type fans. You know, uh, we, we've got plenty of guys that are showing they're a bad cop. What we really need is a lot of people showing that they're the good cop. You need to start calling out some of these guys, and I know it's frowned down upon besides, uh, you know, inside certain, uh, you know, groups and uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for, clicks and such. You know, it's not always great to point out fingers at somebody who's uh, totally disobeying their oath because that's the overall consensus is we keep that thing under the under our hats, and I'm, you know, fully aware of that. But it's really coming down to, do you support the Constitution or don't you? If you do, you need to quit screwing around. Plain and simple, because everybody's got their eyes on everybody else right now. You know, the, the military and the uh, law authorities are looking at us like we're doing something wrong, when we know damn well a lot of them are doing something wrong. You know, if, if we know more about the law and we're following the law to a T, um, you know, there are, are certain things in the Constitution that support us on inalienable rights, and uh, we need to stick behind them and make sure that these other Oath Keepers are sticking to uh, the oath they've given. You know, I'm a civilian, sir. I don't have formal uh, military background. or, or I mean, I, I can say I was raised by wolves, um, and a lot of them dissuaded me from the military because they had been there. I've never been anybody else's property but my own, and I have paperwork uh, stating that I have taken myself back in, uh, you know, many different straw man type uh, <laughs> situations. And, uh, you know, it, it, it bothers me to know that everybody's going to tell you, you know, yeah, I take an oath to uphold and defend, but, you know, there's got to be 300 some odd thousand soldiers from across the country that all know this is going on. And where are the guys that are upholding and defending, man? Um, right. I, I don't see anybody well, actually me, defending that has the badge. Let me give you some encouragement. Uh, I don't know if you know what's happening in New York State, but we have uh, something called the SAFE Act, uh, the Safe Ammunition and Firearms uh, Enforcement Act. Uh, and you would be amazed at the a number of sheriffs uh, and law enforcement uh, officers who have stood up and said that they will not enforce this act. Uh, we have uh, legislatures uh, in counties across New York State uh, who have stood up and said that they will not allow enforcement of that law in their county. Uh, so I'm going I'm to ask you a question, sir. I need you to be real straight and honest with me. On a scale of 1 to 100, for you to be able to get Richard Mack and or... Uh, Stuart Rose. Hello? Yes. Yeah, sorry. I cut out. And Stuart, if you could get either him or Richard Mack on the phone, well, on a scale of 1 to 100... 10 being affirmative and a 0 being a negative, where, where do you think that you'd be able to get uh, either or both of those gentlemen on in about 13 hours? At this point, I have contact with both, uh, but because they're involved in what they're doing right now, uh, you can probably imagine that 
uh, not that it would be a distraction. It might be a very good thing for them uh, to get on the call later this evening you're talking? Um, uh, correct. In approximately 13 hours or so. Uh, I will I will make that effort uh, to get that to happen. Uh, however, not knowing what the situation is there, uh, you know, whether they're meeting, you know, continually with people or what's going on, it's obviously their call. 10-4. In about uh, four hours, they're going to be meeting at the flagpole if they're there already. <clears throat> We're just trying to find out, you know, who's on, on the inner circle. Um, you know, are roads being blocked? Are they confiscating, pulling people over? Um, you know, we, we need to further along our comms tree, so if there's anything that the Oath Keepers can provide, um, we've got a couple of people that are trying to use, you know, secondary methods of communication, sure. uh, even resorting to uh, CB radio, down to ham radio. Mm -hmm. um, we've got repeaters that are trying to be worked on in a, co a couple of comm lines right now. Mm -hmm. um, Oath Keepers already have a lot of that in, uh, already established. If, if we could piggyback off of some of what, uh, you know, you guys are working on, that's kind of what we're trying to open up, uh, you know, with, with you. I know you're, out, you're on the coast, uh, the opposite coast, if I'm not mistaken. So Right, and, we, and we're trying to determine now, in fact, one of the reasons that I'm on this call uh, is just to gather more information and make a determination, is this the right time to head out that way or is it better to wait? Um, you know, we're not uh, at the moment in direct communications with either uh, Richard Mack um, or Stuart Rhodes simply because we know what they're doing now and it's no time to be uh, you know deterred from what you're trying to accomplish um, once you get there so what uh, what I will do is uh, I understand and I've been on the call for a while now um, but you're with the Sons of Liberty in Illinois is that correct uh, that's affirmative, sir. Okay. And and your name is Brian? Uh, yeah, Brian uh, with a Y, and uh, I'm online as Brian Free the People. Uh, uh, the Free the People parts are all one word. <laughs> Pretty easy to find. <laughs> um, uh, got a couple of goofy uh, profile pictures up right now, which I'll be changing soon, but um, just to kind of lighten up the mood a little bit. Sure. Um. I'm going to go ahead, too, since I've still got you on. Um, I'm going to add you to actually to the comms pool. Um, we've got about a dozen guys. You would actually would be number 12 that are working on that. Um, okay. you, you might have throw you in a comms pool. You'd probably get contacted uh, sometime tomorrow from at least one of these guys that have uh, a volunteer to kind of keep the comms tree open. You sound like a, you'd be an asset directly to the people we're trying to get a hold of. So, uh, you know, with, with your reach, uh, would you mind you know, taking that upon yourself uh, in about 13 hours uh, to try to accomplish what you can and report back? Sure. All right, um, 716 area code, correct? That's correct. You need the rest of the number? Or? Uh, I wanted to verify, 716 area code, where, where do you reside, sir? Buffalo, New York. You said New York? Correct. All right, that works out. We needed more East Coast representation, sir. Um, as of right now, your comms 12, okay? Okay. When you report back later, just kind of, I'm, I'm putting a star by you because uh, you've got us associated with the Oath Keepers. Um, if you could remind them, you know, in the mantra of the Oath Keepers, the main hashtag we're trying to use is for com uh, communication on uh, Twitter right now is uh, hashtag and then Oath before orders, which is, uh, I'm pretty sure that's part of your mantra out there. Right. Uh, you are now Comms 12, sir, and uh, what was your first name again? Dan, D-A-N. Dan, like Daniel? Correct. All right, I appreciate that, sir. I've got you start on for Comms 12. Uh, you'll definitely be contacted by either Comms 1 through 5 in the next 12 hours. Okay, sounds good. Well, you know, what I've heard so far, uh, you're doing a great job and a, a great service. So uh, I'm going to leave this call simply because there are other things that need to be taken care of right now. But we'll be back in contact, and um, hopefully we'll be able to get um, one of those gentlemen on the call later. Okay? I really, really appreciate you, man. Keep doing uh, the good work that you're doing on that end. And uh, even after all this is said and done, I plan on doing this for other uh, situations. I think I've got a dedicated conference call number that we're all using right now. So 
you know, keep okay. that in your uh, in your hat and give it out to more white hats, okay? Sounds good. God bless you. Ten four. I'm going to move on. This person has been hanging on very politely, and I apologize for that delay, but uh, you know, we got kind of involved in the Oath Keepers conversation. I'm going to clear the call and take the next question. Anybody else who you want to chime in? <sighs> I opened up another Mountain Dew a minute ago. Yeah, I'm in northern Nevada, Reno area, and I do not belong to any militias, never have. I want to know if my support would be needed down there and if I could get, even get down there if I tried. I'm about seven hours away, 400 miles. All right, we appreciate you chiming in, man. I just got kicked off the call, so I'm back on. If you could actually repeat the uh, beginning of that conversation that uh, you were just having with yourself, uh, everybody else heard you as well. I just didn't hear it, if you don't mind. Yeah, I was just saying, I'm in northern Nevada, Reno area. I do not belong to a militia, never have. I'm just wondering if my services, my support would be needed if I took off and headed down that way, about seven hours away, 400 miles. Uh, wondering if I could even get there if I tried. Uh, if it's, you know, not too out of pocket for you, brother, uh, we could definitely use uh, some more intel. Um, we're suggesting that anybody's heading there to bring extra resources and come down to the peaceful protester. Um, that is per request of the ranchers. Last time we, we were in communication with uh, their door. Sorry, I lost you, I, but I understood that that was a yes, that my help could be needed, just bring some extra resources for myself. Hey, sorry to leave you hanging. I'm actually having some signal troubles on my end, and I apologize. That's an inconvenience for everybody else. We've still got 35 people on the call. Um, if you could repeat that one more time, and I, hopefully I don't crash out on you again. Yeah, I was just saying, I'm in Reno, Nevada, uh, about seven hours away by car, from, uh, 400 miles. If my services can be used down there, I'll take off and drive down that way. Um, I'm wondering if I can even get through if I tried. Are they going to be stopping us on the highway, anything like that? You know, anybody said anything? And is the, uh, is the, is the Bundys still want us to uh, travel down that way? <laughs> you know, I'm not really one of the park orders, man. I'm just uh, a dude that was on a conference call a couple of days ago that uh, blew up into this. So, you know, based on what you're asking and, and what I, you know, would recommend based on what I know and where I'm sitting at this point, you know, I'm not barking orders, bro. You kind of offered. So what I would recommend is, let me ask you this. Are you in communication uh, with other people that are much closer to, to ground zero by chance? No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. Not ha And have not been. I have been trying to get in contact with the ranch to see if they would actually want my support and I will head down that way. But I haven't been able to get a hold of anybody. I understand that. I hear you. Are, do you have any friends or or family that uh, are in between, you know, where you're at to Ground Zero? No, all my family, ranchers and stuff, come from uh, northern Nevada, eastern northern Nevada. So no, everybody that I know is hundreds of miles away. I got gotcha. you. I, I mean, I don't know how many people that are awake and on the same page as uh, you are you know, in your network, but uh, if you want to start reaching out to anybody, you know, that does have somebody much closer to that area, we're, we're looking for uh, trying to set up extra rally points uh, until we have somebody at ground zero to kind of let us know, you know, what's going on on that outer circle. Um, as far as we know right now, you know, a couple of groups were re uh, released, arrested and released. Um, some people are speaking of, uh, you know, guns being uh, confiscated. 
So we don't really want to, I, I personally don't want to send anybody in there directly right now without having uh, set up an outside uh, rally point perimeter of some sorts. Um, and preferably, you know, if somebody's coming from north, we'd like to have one up north. But, uh, you know, seven hours away is one thing. You know, if we had somebody an hour away, uh, in you know, from point A to point B from where you're at right now, and if you could, you know, head towards that direction and then give us updates and, uh, you know, uh, let more people rally from, from that vicinity towards you, that would be huge right now. If, uh, you know, I don't know where you're at financially or anything like that, but if you want to maybe uh, start calling around for any hotels northbound that are uh, open and, and, and have vacancy and, and maybe we can try to arrange something like that, you know, for people to start meeting at more of a public place. Um, you know, that you can acquire once you get in that vicinity. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. All right. I will uh, I will see what I can get together on this end and um, see if I can get some help to go with me, and we'll get her done. All right. I, I'm, I recommended earlier, again, this is just me talking, man. I, I have no say on what you're about to do, but, uh, you know, going as peaceful protesters, if you're going as a caravan, you want munitions probably in one separate vehicle and have them stay behind and, uh, you know, I don't want to set up anybody for failure, so forgive me, you know, if things turn sour, but I, I, I'm recommending, you know, you can take that with a grain of salt, but I'm recommending, you know, heavy munitions, you know, be, uh, you know, placed in the trunk uh, and, and sticking with the laws of uh, Nevada. Hey, can you actually verify uh, if somebody's carrying a, a weapon and it's in their trunk, they should be okay if it's all set separated and nothing's in the chamber, is that correct? That's correct. This is an open carry state, too, so as long as it's on your side, it's illegal. That's correct, but we, we also were told that people that visually have weapons out right now, uh, you know, are getting a little extra uh, treatment, so to speak. So we're trying to recommend coming in as peaceful protesters, maybe leaving that in the trunk so that, you know, you can get by checkpoints, you know, and uh, have public servant questionnaires with you. If you actually Google search public servant questionnaire right now and uh, the word PDF, so, you know, you've got a public servant questionnaire and then PDF in the Google Drop. Um, there's a place called Scribd, which uh, drops free downloads for uh, these these flyers that I'm recommending. Uh, I, I highly suggest you print out probably about 10 copies if you have that chance. Keep them with you, uh, glove box them or console them, so that when if and when you are approached, you, you need to be able to ask them, well, who are you? Um, you know, I'm just an American that's concerned. You know, I'm heading down to go protest. Is that illegal? And if they keep questioning you, you need to hand them that document and start making sure they fill it out. Uh, it is every American's right to question who's questioning you uh, so you can verify that you want to answer those questions. Um, so I, I highly recommend using them. I will. I'll do that. Um, thank you very much. And I'll get off and let somebody else talk. Uh, not a problem. Uh, Wayne's still on. Uh, he's live if you want to chime in, brother. Um, Anybody else that wants to chime in, you can go ahead and press star six right now, and you'll be the next caller in the slot. Um, and we'll be happy to, you know, let you speak freely. Um, as long as you don't, you know, really get out of line. I'm not trying to take anybody's First Amendment rights away. Or rights away um, you know, while we've been having this conversation, but if you get out of pocket, I got to shut you down. Um, anybody else want to speak up? You can press star six and uh, speak your piece. It uh, looks like just the three of us, Wayne and uh, 8319, you're still on. Anything yep. else you wanted to add before anybody else chimes in with the star six? Yeah, I'm still um, still putting out the information, uh, still still running it, working on a story right now, getting ready to put that out. But uh, like I said, Brian, keep on, keep on keeping on. And I know, and I heard that you were, just popping up on another Mountain Dew. Well, you know, check it. <laughs> um, you're gonna need to get some sleep too now. Yeah, I know. I hear you. I'm kind of uh, on my fourth wind. Actually, Wayne, I'm gonna ask you to do me a quick favor. Uh, we got Charles eight three one nine. You're still on the line. I've got uh, another media person from uh, Chicago that chimed in earlier, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in one person. If you guys don't mind, I need to take a standing bathroom break because I'm starting to look like a koala bear over here. Um, if, um, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple people. You guys can speak amongst yourselves for the next, like, five minutes while I go ahead and visit the urination station. Right? Yeah. This caller, you're open, and uh, 8748, you're unmuted. I'll, I'll hey, be right back. Hey, 
Hey, I just want to want to let you know all know. Um, you know, obviously, as a lot of you know, I'm the one that's um handling the uh, YouTube uh, Google stream with this conference call going out, and um, we're at 43 viewers right now. We were at 50, so um, when Brian was talking about you know having like you know 40 40 uh, listeners on on the conference call, that is plus the additional 40 plus that we're having here. So we're actually closer to 100 than not. Okay. Is that, um, what is that YouTube stream address? Um, well, the, um, the YouTube channel of mine that, um, I'm running it on is, uh, Paradigm Shift Docs for You. That's D-O-C-S, the number four in the letter U. But the easiest way to get at that is if you go on, if you go on Facebook and, um, you do a search for Cosmic Voice, um, that is a, a Facebook group that I'm um, affiliated with that I'm, I'm running this through right now. It's actually where I originally got the number for this conference call. And um, if you scroll through the posts on the, on the Facebook group, um, you'll see a post by Cosmic Candy Gallup, and um, it says, Attention, Calling All Patriots, etc. Bundy Ranch, it's got the call-in number and everything. And if you go through the comments, periodically I post the link for the... Um, for the, the stream on this, it's titled uh, Bundy Ranch Militia and Oath Keepers Conference Call. And it also has that same information um, in the description. Okay. Good. There's really no short-winded uh, method I, I could really tell you to, to get at the stream. But I definitely plan on, uh, you know, being around it at 8 p.m. if I can, unless something comes up. I'm really pushing to, to be around. And... Um, I'm going to be uh, recording that stream out as well because this is some, some really good stuff. And um, I don't know if anybody's streaming it out or, or what they're doing, but I think it's a good idea to, uh, you know, to have, to have some sort of um, an archive. And, you know, if people want to use, like, Video Download Helper, which is a, um, a Firefox add-on to download YouTube videos and stuff, um, once this recording is done and you know, YouTube processes it and it's, it's up as a, a video when, you know, we're not live anymore, then people will be able to download that and they can feel free to re-upload that to uh, their channels um, without a problem. They're, they're welcome to go ahead and do that. Found it. All right, cool. Yep. Awesome. I appreciate out. you looking out. Uh, I'm back and I feel like a million bucks. I just did 20 jumping jacks. Um, <laughs> I think I'm on my fifth win, guys. I, I got uh, another person that's trying to get in. I'm going to unmute right now. Cool. Uh, seven, 7396 area code. I'm sorry, last four digits. Go ahead. I don't know if you heard me, Brian, but um, I got like about 50 people on my end view in the stream, plus your 40, so we're actually closer to 100, just so you know. Oh, nice. Wow. All right. Awesome. Appreciate that. Hey, Brian. Um, hey, there you are. Go ahead, man. This is Anastasia Jacoby again from 2 Million Bikers to D.C. I want you to know I've been with you for about, oh, 36 hours now, I think. <laughs> um, I did crash out for about three hours last night. Your voice is just so lulling. <laughs> um, but, uh, we, yeah, no, it's a compliment. Um, now, we do have, just so you know, we do have boots on the ground that we are getting periodic updates from. Um, awesome. And we do, and we do have some members that are actually on scene. Uh, feel free to get them to chime in. It, you know, it means a lot coming from you because I know who you are. But uh, you know, when we've got people here listening, it's really nice to have someone who's actually the one that's boots on the ground. I don't want to cut you loose. Uh, I want you to stay ahead of the, in this call. I'm going to leave you um, unmuted. Um, and uh, are, are you back on for long haul, or are you going to need another break real soon, or? Um, no, I'm, yeah, I'm going to be on for a while. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be on for a while with you guys. Um, one one thing that I that I did want to say, and this this was the the request from our boots on the ground. Um, the biggest problem is that they're having out there a cell phone reception. Um, the cell towers are not taken down. Um, the biggest problem is there's very few spots that they can actually go to get cell phone reception. Um, the, the other thing that they were requesting they said would be very beneficial and people could help with is to contact the governor. Um, 
from what they are understanding, the governor in Nevada, he is running for office. They believe it is, it is rumored through the state that the governor might be taking on Reed in 2016 for Senate. And uh, if he does that with a little bit of pressure, they think that it would be good for the governor to get involved, to say no to BLM, because he would then be positioning himself against Reed in the, in the upcoming election. And that that is pretty important, you know, kind of to get another perspective of what's going on, you know, locally, politically, you know, how, you know, there's a power grab and a power play uh, actually happening, you know, uh, you know, behind the scenes. And, you know, it's kind of interesting to get that aspect. Um, do you by chance have any reach in the political arena to where you might be able to get, you know, somebody like that to chime in tomorrow or sorry, later? Uh, we We can try. We can try. Um, I don't even know if we are friends on Facebook um, because if they they have to leave the area from where they're at to get cell phone reception. Um, so if they're able to join in the call, they're not going to be able to sit on uh, for a long wait period of time. Uh, um, so I, don't know. I, I am aware there's such thing as satellite phones as well. So if anybody's got access to that, you know, that's heading out there, feel free to uh, get that up to the chain of command and uh, some of the uh, other power players and uh, leaders that are there um, so okay. we can get some more reports of what's going on. Anybody else that heard that? Silly's been getting okay. And good. one, another thing, too, that um, they had said, that this was something that they were just talking with uh, with some of the, the family members from the, um, you know, from the ranch there, is one thing that nobody has really considered or has talked about in regards to the issue with the turtles. You know, of course, we know that's all been debunked. You know, the, the government has actually euthanized, you know, a considerable amount of the turtles. But one thing they said that people aren't realizing is the fact that the cattle are actually a part of the ecosystem. The cattle have been there for so many decades that they said to remove the cattle from those grazing lands would actually upset the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. They said that the, uh, what would happen was the extra grass that would then be available would cause the rabbit population to basically explode. The rabbit population increases, then the, co the coyote population increases. Of course, it wouldn't be a balanced ratio, and they said in turn, then the coyotes would eat the turtles. So if they were really concerned about the turtles, then they wouldn't unbalance the ecosystem. <laughs> wow. You know, that's just uh, yet another perspective, you know, to, to kind of keep our eyes on. Uh, obviously, we don't want that to happen, but, uh, you know, for, for the most part, uh, we, we need to kind of, you know, st stick within certain boundaries to where, uh, you know, getting a hold of the politicians, as we talked about, it, especially someone like that that's got more of the inside perspective of all avenues of not only uh, the politics but the ecosystem. You know, uh, obviously that's you know another part of the situation. I don't I don't think the powers that be really uh, are putting too much thought into the actual ecosystem right now. I, I, I'm still leaning towards uh, more of uh, you know commodity, uh, you know, uh, oil and uh, ore and precious metals and water. Um, and power and, and, and more room, um, you know, I, I think that's the, the, the focus of why they're, they're taking the land. Um, but by all means, you know, I'm hoping people that are there are trying to, you know, of course still protect, you know, the animals and, uh, you know, maybe find them good homes. There's plenty of zoos out there that, you know, not to say that that's, the, you know, the, the best way for them to live, but it seems better than the alternative. Um, right, on, I've right. got uh, three more people in the queue, ma'am, if you didn't, um, if you wanted to wrap up any other questions real quick, I've got three more people that popped up in the queue. Uh, no, I don't have any more questions. One thing, you know, that I would encourage just for, you know, j just another additional point, I, I know that we don't have a, a connection, but if we could find somebody or, you know, I know Wayne's crew a couple of the other media outlets that are here. I know we're networking with several different media outlets that if they do have a resource 
to get a commentary right. um, from an ecologist. I, I think would you know possibly be beneficial. Just add more to the story, and that's Absolutely. all I have. And again, right. And again, thank you for all that you are doing. Um, it's it's a journey. Hi, I appreciate you chiming in, Hunter. We're uh, I'm going to be. Uh, killing this here in a, in, a, in a few minutes. We're at uh, 8 o'clock uh, a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I'm expecting I'm on the East Coast. I'm expecting in approximately two hours they're going to be meeting at the flagpole at this ranch, so uh, consider other uh, alternative methods of uh, media right you know, after at that point to see if anybody else is chiming in out there in Facebook land and YouTube and whatnot, um, but I'm going to have to cut short, and then we'll be back right. in uh, about 12 hours. I'm going to give out the number to play back the previous conversation and to get the code for that previous conversation prior to that, uh, area code 559-726-1399. And for the last part of the segment would be uh, pound 9676. Um, feel free to write that down. I'm sorry, pound 9676, and then press pound again, and you'll get the, the, this segment um, after we hang up here and stop recording. Um, I'm going to let the next wireless caller uh, go ahead and chime in. Um, we still got uh, Chicago comms. You're still on. That's cool. All right. I'm glad I, you were here, buddy. I wasn't sure and, because I tried to say something, and um, it seemed like no one was hearing me, so I wasn't sure if I got bumped off or not. I was trying to say that um, I'm, I'm, I think uh, Santilli has a, has a satellite uh uh, hook up down there for the phone, so anybody needing that might want to talk to him. Um, as far as I know, that's how he's getting through because he's been doing live video interviews on the scene, and um, you know, satellite is the only way that I could think of that he's doing it. All right, yeah, you're right, and I appreciate you chiming in on that. I got a wireless caller uh, seven six four three. You're unmuted. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, hey Brian. I just came across this. The Sheriff Gillespie of Nevada may have a financial motive for treason or betrayal of our patriots. He is the Nevada Commission for Homeland Security Finance Committee Chair. So that could be why he's not helping. Hmm. And also that Santilli does have a satellite truck there. He was broadcasting and he was interviewing. Inside his truck, he does have a satellite van. And he's on scene for sure? He is on scene for sure. He's been there... I know for sure since yesterday, and I I think the day before as well. I've been following him pretty closely. Well, hopefully he's also right. willing to help out some other people with that feed as well and getting things online yeah. that needs to be done. And he's been, you know, and you've watched the videos too, I'm sure. He's been he's oh, been yeah. coaching the protesters. I mean, he's been excellent down there, excellent. Cool. He's a very yeah, knowledgeable I've guy. Watch it what I could watch. I mean, I probably haven't watched everything, but. Every video I come across, I use Video Download Helper, and I download that ju just in case the, um, you know, the, 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 the corporate fascists decide to, to eliminate any videos, and at least I got copies, and those can be put back up. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and reset the forum. Um, we've got Chicago here. You're still chiming in. Uh, 7396, ma'am, I still see you on the line. Uh, I haven't muted anybody out. I'm just going to give uh, one last opportunity before uh, I kill all this for the next 12-ish uh, 12, 12 hours. Um, if anybody else wants to chime in, you can go ahead and press uh, star 6. Uh, I'm going to give room for one more uh, round of uh, some Q&A. Uh, we've still got you know five people live on the call right now. Uh, Wayne, I see you're back in. Um, all right, we've got a couple of people that just chimed in, so I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit next question. It's going to pull a couple of people off the line, um, but a couple of people just chimed in that want to speak. So uh, sorry if you get reset. Um, if you hey, want to call back in in about 12 hours when we get this going again. Um, hey, but I'm so about to hit so next you know, Sorry, just so question you know, and, uh, Google, I can only record for like another hour, hour and a half or something because um, YouTube uh, Hangouts have a limit of like a total of eight hours and I've been on for quite right. a while. So just right. letting people know if the YouTube feed gets uh, suddenly cut, that's why I hit the eight-hour limit. All right, 10-4. Um, I'm going to move on to Stay the uh, next man. question. Yeah, yeah, uh, right on, brother. Do you want to speak up or do you have anything to say before I cut to the next question? No, go ahead, cut. All right. 
Um, I got a wireless caller chiming in eight nine four seven, and I'm gonna unmute you. Who waits for the donut? Eight nine four seven. Yes, can you hear me? No, you can Uh, wireless caller seven six four three. I gotta mute you for that one. Uh, go ahead, sir. Okay, have you got me? Yeah, we got you. Uh, eight nine four seven. It's you. Yes, uh, this is Scott McGillivray. I'm a Logan County resident, also a member of the Logan County, West Virginia Sons of the Second Citizen Action Committee, local militia, and uh, stuff like that. Is there an account set up anywhere to where we can make monetary donations to help boots on the ground or the restaurants we can call or anything like that where we can help these people that are there? Uh, I appreciate you looking out. I've got uh, a map that I'm putting together of some people that uh, – you know, I've offered uh, different services and things of that nature. Um, you know, I don't know what your reach is, sir. Uh, it sounds like you've got a, a good, uh, well-organized group out there. If anybody's got some monetary funds, we're going to be setting up some sort of crowdfunding here in the next 10 hours. Um, I have another person that uh, is temporarily delegated via the Oath Keepers to uh, get some research done on that and uh, find out the best avenue and uh, how to get that started. If you don't mind, I'll go ahead and hang on to your information and uh, get you in touch with that person if uh, if they don't come back on here in uh, uh, the, n the next call that we're going to have uh, uh, in about 12 hours. Are you okay with that? Yes, I'm fine with that. I appreciate appreciate what you all doing, and uh, just know this is a groundswell, and uh, it's going to get bigger than this. We need to stop all these totalitarian enactments, and uh, liberty is going to reign. I'm sure of it. Did you say sons of the second? In West Virginia? Yes. yes, sir, I did. Who is this again? This is Scott McGilvray. You um, are with Sean Atkins? Yes, I am. This is Wayne Dupree. Hey, that's my photo negative, brother. <laughs> hey, Ryan, good to hear they, from you, Wayne. They are 100% they are real. Um, Sons of the Second out of West Virginia. Um Solid, solid patriots, and um, believe me, when they say that they're going to do something, they're going to do it. Awesome. Hey, well, uh, I'm, I'm glad you chimed in, man. We had uh, thing near 30-some-odd-plus uh, different groups, um, you know, a variety of different states chime in, um, and, you know, it's good to hear, uh, you know, some of the dogs that have been around a while. We actually had Hutari on this call earlier, um, which was pretty awesome to hear from them. Uh, they've been laying really, really, really low since the last, uh, you know, federal uh, overreach uh, and, and fraud. You know, those guys were completely exonerated for some uh, uh, petty yet shady uh, words that were said. You know, Cohen, Protel, and uh, infiltrators really set them up. I think all y'all need to kind of be aware that that's all over the country right now. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and step forward, Wayne. I'm gonna keep you on. Um, Seven three nine six, you're still on, and uh, eight nine four seven, you're on. Uh, four more people just chimed in, so uh, I know I'm. Okay, I'll just say something real quick. And I, go, go ahead, bro. I'll just say something real quick, and uh, I'll get Please. off here. Uh, Shoot, brother Wayne, just just to let y'all know that we've got a couple members that are planning to head out. I'm not sure who it is, but they'll yeah. be leaving shortly, from what I understand, to head out to Nevada. So yeah. we'll have boots out there too. How long you been yeah, on this I mean, call, sir? I'm just I've been happy. on this call. I've just been on this call for about 15 minutes now. All right. Uh, if you could go ahead and keep spreading the word that we need peaceful protesters there, people not Absolutely. coming in BDUs, people not oh, coming yeah. in balls to the walls. Uh, we don't want any uh, hotheads, and we definitely don't need, uh, you know, anybody who's thinking about striking and striking hard. They need to look up the rules and the, and the laws in that area so that they don't you know, encroach uh, on any federal type laws where they put themselves in danger. Um, don't come in locked and loaded, and uh, you know, hopefully Absolutely. people we, understand we got, it. Uh, we got very, we got very cool-headed members that do their research and do their homework. So I, I trust everything I have in my life to these brothers of mine. I do too, so, uh, and uh, right, cool. I mean, I, I, I consider myself. I mean, I'm about maybe six hours away from uh, the sons of the second, but. I mean, I hang with I hang with them every time that I can get there. And as a matter of fact, I'll be there next next month for their Patriots Day. But um, no, they are 
like I said, solid individuals. And when they say that they're going to do something, and they're well disciplined uh, military members, former former military members, they they there's nobody finer. So you know, I, I agree. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, thanks for looking out, Wayne. I'm going to keep you on the line still, bro. I got uh, a couple more people that are trying to chime in. Um, sorry if you're getting muted out. I only have so much space on this control panel, so I got to mute some people and uh, bring in some people. And uh, you know, nothing personal, man. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on. I got an anonymous caller. I'm always uh, curious what they have to say. Um, go ahead, anonymous caller. Your uh, queue is open. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, Mary. Okay. Um, I'm going to be really quick here. Uh, there's a lot of rumors going around on Facebook, and this is one that I really want to confirm with you. Uh, this one says that the Arizona legislature is sending in official delegations to the ranch and that they're getting involved. It's a whole long letter, but... Uh, it says that the represent they make it sound like like the problem is being solved by these Arizona representatives, which it would be really nice if it was that easy. But, and is there any? I don't want to read the whole thing because it's too long. But is there any truth to any of this? Um, you know, we're expecting a variety of uh, politicians, all men, all keep sorts um, to be uh, at ground zero in less than 12 hours, but uh, we're going to be cutting this call off here in a little bit. would love for them to, you know, chime in right now if we could, but just uh, due to some circumstances, we're going to have to re-chime this in in about 12 hours. Uh, hopefully, the call trees and the CECOM that we have right now um, can get, you know, people to, uh, people need to be on the phone. Um, some more of the other leaders that are showing up, um, some more of the leaders that are already there. Um, in a few hours, they're actually going to be meeting at the flagpole on the property. Um, so that's kind of what we're recommending to anybody that is within the uh, inner press uh, at any of the meeting areas. Uh, we're also trying to set up uh, secondary rally points um, on each side to uh, just be a meeting point for people to you know, avoid any uh, excuse my French cluster fuck that's going on uh, right now on the inside because we don't have eyes on the ground exactly uh, at this moment. You know, so if anybody here listening still got resources to people that are boots on the ground, we need you to get a hold of them and have them chime in. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Hey, Brian. Yeah, go ahead, Wayne. Um, I am putting up live stream to the. Um, um, to what's going on right now, um, it is from the Pete Santilli show. Um, right now it's kind of dark there, but um, it looks like a live stream going on via Ustream. So I'm putting it up on my website at waynedupreshow.com. Excellent. Um, you know, right now I wish I was an octopus. I've got CB radios, hams, VHF. I've got, uh, you know, a laptop, a PC, and two throwaway phones, and a secondary phone. <laughs> and uh, as of right now, I'm, I'm, I think I've got all I've got in me. Um, I'm going to close this down on the 30. We got about 14 more minutes. So, Wayne, I'm actually going to lock lock up uh, the people that are free uh, right now, except for the anonymous caller. And uh, we're going to continue this in approximately uh, less than 12 hours. Um, I kind of went over that time frame uh, that I expected I would, as you can tell. Um, but I, if, if you don't mind, you, you can keep rebroadcasting uh, the other things. But uh, I, I'd love it for you if you wanted to chime in again at uh, 8 o'clock or around 8 o'clock Central uh, later on p.m. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you can do that. Um, last round of Q&A for a little while. I'm going to grab a couple more people. Uh, Candace, you are disengaged. Uh, 7643, you are disengaged. Anonymous, you are disengaged. And wireless caller in 1450, go ahead and speak your mind. Yes, this is uh, Michael Emery in Boise, Idaho, uh, a member of the Oath Keepers and Health Establishment at the very intern with Stuart Rhodes. 
Thanks for coming in, brother. What uh, what can you add to the situation? Well, what we're doing is we're watching very closely. We have a second layer just in case it gets really uh, um, really out of hand or whatever. And I think that y'all are doing a fantastic job. We've got some boots on the ground there just in the background. It's, uh, just y'all are keeping it peaceful, and uh, we're watching very closely.